My name is Jefferson Jones. I'm currently a fourth year medical student at Northwestern. Uh, as an undergrad, I was a biomedical engineering student. They had a pilot program to turn the uh, senior design project from something based out of Evanston into something global health related. Um, it was led by uh, Dr. David Kelso. He took us to the University of Cape Town where we were able to perform our projects. That led me to be interested in the MD-MPH program at Northwestern Medical School. And part of that, you are supposed to do a field experience in between your first and second years during the summer. Uh, so the same mentor, Dr. Uh, David Kelso, uh, has a combined uh, organization called the Center for Innovation for Global Health Technologies. It's a combination of the engineering school, the business school, and the medical school. And I was able to get involved for a project that um, tries to take HIV technologies available in the United States and make them affordable in resource-poor environments. And then most recently, uh, I spent a year in Atlanta at the CDC working on, uh, it was at epidemiology fellowship for medical students, uh, largely domestic-based, um, but I did get some uh, international health involvement, but it was it's very based in public health uh, prevention and, and largely um, very, uh, very connected with the ideals of global health. After my third year of medical school, before my fourth year of medical school, I uh, applied to and was accepted into I believe the official name is the CDC Experience Applied Epidemiology Fellowship for Medical Students. The competitiveness of the application, I think, is it will probably increase every year as it becomes more well-known because it's a wonderful fellowship, uh, highly recommended by everyone who participates, and is not as well-known as, as other fellowships out there. You spend your time at Atlanta, at the CDC, with people who work there, the experts of you know, public health, infectious disease, chronic disease of America. Um, they usually start off, I heard for our year there was about only 60, 70 applicants. Uh, somewhere between 18 to 20 people invited to interview. They pay for your flight down to Atlanta to get interviewed, um, which is particularly nice because in February it's freezing in Chicago and you get to go to Atlanta where it's much warmer. And, um, and then they accept anywhere, it's been eight to nine applicants to projects. Uh, you don't get it, you get a rank projects that you'd like to participate in and they rank you so it's like a mini match. And they try and optimize what they call the happiness factor which is basically your rank and the ranks of the projects and try and get one to one matches if possible. But 60 applicants for eight slots for a fellowship it isn't too bad for um, a fellowship at the CDC. And I think, uh, particularly if you spend a lot of time on the application, they say, I heard there was quite a few applicants who kind of threw it together at the last minute. And uh, they can find that really easy. So there's uh, the likelihood of getting an interview, particularly from Northwestern, where we've had um, quite a few students attend over there, uh, since the beginning of the program, which is only, I think, about six years or so. So during my ten, ten and a half months I spent in Atlanta at the CDC, they have a few required projects that they want you to accomplish. Um, they want you to perform an, epidemi an analytic epidemiology project. They want you to do some field experience. Uh, so travel somewhere and do applied epidemiology at, at, at a location outside of Atlanta and do a surveillance project. Uh, I was very happy to get my, my top choice project, which was tuberculosis. Uh, my analytic project that I worked on, uh, the CDC has the largest collection of, of data on people with tuberculosis in, in the United States. It gets collected from all the states. District of Columbia, and so you have this wealth of data that you can analyze. Uh, my project uh, turned into be uh, a culture negative TB, uh, which uh, has a lot of uh, clinical importance that, that uh, as you study about TB, you learn the difference between the importance of having a positive culture. 
uh, culture to negative TB is becoming more and more common and is uh, not very well researched. So I uh, wrote together a paper, uh, first something I'll be a first author on, on how culture negative TB is becoming more common in the United States, uh, risk factors for culture negative TB, and then analysis on possible causes of why culture negative TB is becoming more common in the United States. Uh, my surveillance project was connected to my uh, field experience. I had several field experiences, but I'll focus on, on one. Uh, it was to a, um, some remote islands in the South Pacific that uh, invited the CDC to investigate uh, mul some multi-drug resistant tuberculosis outbreak that they've had over the last two years or so. So a team of CDC and WHO and some other United States government representatives went to the islands and um, did a basic uh, TB outbreak investigation where you kind of find out who has tuberculosis. You do interviews, see who their close contacts are, see who has symptoms, who needs prophylactic medication, who needs x-rays. Uh, you do a lot of uh, tuberculosis and uh, TST skin tests. Um, and uh, basically do damage control to make sure that the disease does not continue to spread, make recommendations, and uh, that turned into a uh, poster presentation at, at a uh, scientific conference. I'm currently uh, in the process of interviewing for residencies. I'm going into pediatrics. Um, Actually, applying for the CDC Experience Fellowship really prepared me for residency um, applications. One, I already had a polished CV ready. Uh, two, you really have to think about why are you applying for this fellowship and what are your career goals. The CDC Experience encourages a wealth of possible career applications of people who would apply to the city experience, including academia, uh, public health, um, working at a government agency, um, uh, various types of research. Uh, private practice is, is also encouraged. Uh, they really want physicians who have this population health, public health perspective. Uh, me, myself, I see two career goals that uh, I can see myself in going into pediatrics residency. Uh, after that, I want to either do a, an ID infectious disease fellowship, uh, pediatrics infectious disease, um, and either stay in academia where I could work on uh, preventive research from you know, vaccines to um, finding risk factors to finding interventions to prevent infectious disease, uh, to you know, novel treatments, etc. Um, another possible route is they have a two-year post-residency or post-fellowship program at the CDC called the EIS program. It stands for uh, Epidemiologic Intelligence Service. Uh, and it's meant for people who have already, they have to have at least completed a intern year. Um, but most people, to be competitive, have completed their, their uh, residency. And it is similar to the CDC Experience Fellowship. It's, it's, that's kind of modeled after the EIS program. This one's a year. It's for medical students. While the EIS program is two years, and it's modeled for uh, you know, post-residency MDs. Um, so through doing that program, it's often how most people currently uh, who want to work at the CDC uh, they start off with this program, and that usually leads to employment at the CDC at a more full-time position. Uh, it's also not a bad route for people who want to work at the WHO, the World Health Organization. If I was going to give some advice to people who are thinking about global health in their future, uh, there's kind of two uh, possibilities that a lot of people get involved in. One is sort of the clinical rotation. You go to a country, and I think it has its benefits. You learn about a healthcare system. You have something to put on your CV, and it often influences you to pursue more global health things in the future. But for those who are really committed, I think spending a significant amount of time, perhaps a year, 
um, either getting a master's uh, in public health or another relevant field or doing a fellowship in something related to global health really can show your commitment and prepares you to be a future leader in global health which is being recognized as a responsibility to of physicians in America and of, of America's role in, in the world today.